okay so let's take a look at how you can create a dashboard out of oracle apex so first thing make sure to go to oracle apex and on its home page you get to sign up and choose either you can get the free workspace or you can get the cloud account or even get oracle apex set up in your desktop one of these options should work then you can request for free workspace then you have first name last name email workspace location and your options for setting up the apex with accepting the ag agreement once this workspace gets approved you will have dashboard that looks like this right so first thing from this point onwards would be to choosing amp builder okay it will often prompt you to entering username and password so once you are in you can go to create new app now let's say i have one excel file which i wish to load right and let's see HR data is the file if you have any other data you can go with that I'm going to pick this particular data right here I will create HR data table choose the encoding that suits your case then load the data right and once loaded all the rows will be uploaded to that table now let's create application or you can even view the table if you want i will go ahead and create application now here you see you have application name and pages and if i click on create application i will be able to load it and able to run that application right now once all the pages are usable for you you can run the application so here you will have to again log in with your username and password right and then from this point onwards you will get your data accessible through three points dashboard search and report so report is basically giving you the rough idea of what's in your table that data will be here you get to add new entries by tapping on create if you go to search you get to sort and view the data of your table right similarly dashboard will show you the charts right now this is pre-made for you but if you want to create a new one what you can do is go to your app builder then within your application you can create a page then you can click on dashboard right here you will choose let's say dash 2 as the chart option for your dashboard so here uh, we can also pick the layout so let's say i want to have three different charts one primary two secondary or you can have even more charts we'll take a look at two of these example one default one and then we will take three third or fourth option so let's see our first chart we will create the page first then we have our page designer and then we will run this let's see what charts we have so here you can see the label is chosen for us and the data for basically the department exist here department and their respective number of people and these three charts are pre-made for us right now you can edit this from here let's see if you want to edit this particular chart you can do so by choosing to edit this and here you will also have to 
think of the option for the same chart 1, chart 2, chart 3 and so on as you can see your chart here can pick the local database then your table right so your table is here which is HR data right then you can also take a look at option for let's say we get appearance options like changing the color or so you can choose from here now let's go with chart 2 here also you will have to give it local database name then table name give it the database right then here we choose the table data Right. so here you get the idea what to make out of these charts and the type of table we passed it will reflect based on that data right once we do everything with that you will be able to save things and you get to run the application and here you can go to menu and you will notice we have like second dashboard that we just created going there from the menu is one more option that I didn't tell you about but you get the idea right now this was one dashboard so let's add one more so let's go to dashboard and now that we are adding we will give name to this as dash 3 so let's see if I choose like six charts in one dashboard Now here I will run this but prior to that if you want to change this chart you can do so simply choose local database and your table name right so one chart type then location database second chart type with your data and then third chart type we'll set three first then we will come back again and edit it for another second round right so let's choose local database and get the third jack data for this table now we will run this right and okay changes are saved and we can now run so we have like dashboard of six charts three we managed to edit with data from our table right you can manually also point to labels right three we have not done so so we'll go back to these charts then add fourth chart then local database right and then we have our table right then we have like fifth chart local database table right right then local database and like all of these charts everything is done now what we can do it seems like firefox is preventing so let me allow it and we can go to hide so all of these six charts now make use of the table data now they can be pointing to exactly the type of data that we need right and from the table and we can now even get it right now that all of these possibilities you can add in table you can manually edit the page for the options that you want right because by default as you can see it says label one label two so you may have to manually manage that right for that you can also take a look at some of the option for color editing labels and other server side changes you will be able to work with that 
right apart from that you can also see that you can make changes to CSS header footer text and let's see we have like templates to choose from so you can go with that but for this I think you will have to spend some time and with each chart and each dashboard item you will have to think of the possibilities and edit them accordingly right and let's see uh, you want to specifically uh, work with multiple data sources like say you have like chart one for that we made use of local database but if you want to pick the rest source from elsewhere you can do so right so there is no obligation to just stick to the database that you have in hand you can also go for the external sources and that also works right so you get the idea how to create a dashboard in oracle apex